Hello, this is Steve and welcome to my new video on Adventure Capitalist, a game that I thought could never be finished, but it can be completed, and what's more, it can be completed without spending any real money. So let's have a look around and find out how to do it. At the beginning of the game, you don't really have a lot of choice in how to play it, but eventually you'll open up the Mars planet and also the Moon planet. The Mars planet is by far the quickest one to finish, so I recommend that as soon as it's available to you, you complete the Mars planet and any bonuses that you get, such as time warps and things, can be used on the Earth planet because that's the longest one to finish. The other thing to note is that the progression on the moon planet seems very, very slow compared to the others, and it is, but it's still a much quicker planet to complete than Earth. Mars is the easiest, then moon, then Earth. So aim to complete Mars as quickly as possible, then do moon and Earth alongside each other, and when you get any bonuses from Mars or moon, use those bonuses on Earth to speed up the progression, because that's the slowest one. Now let's have a look at the things that you can buy in the shop. You'll notice that there's loads of things you can buy, including gold, which you'll spend real money on. But we're not going to spend real money, that would be crazy. So let's have a look what you can do with the three, four and five gold pieces that the game offers you at random intervals throughout. Um, what you want to do really is avoid the first options that you can see here. Um, the time warps and the reclaiming angels bonuses are one hit bonuses that benefit you at that time. But the ones below it are things that will benefit you permanently, and that's really important. Um, I would ignore those first four bonuses and concentrate purely on these ones that give you multiplayer bonuses. Now, what's weird about the multiplayer bonuses is that they don't work in the way you might expect. For example, if you were playing a game that gave you a two times bonus, you would expect your figures to double, and they do. But then if you got another two times bonus, you would expect your bonus to go to four, then eight then 16, then 32. But a venture capitalist doesn't seem to work that way, and unless I'm very much mistaken, a two times bonus just adds two to any existing bonus. What this means is, instead of going 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, it goes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That means that a two times bonus multiplier at the beginning of the game is making a much bigger impact than a two times bonus at the end of the game. This is why you want to use multipliers, but also use the flux capitalos, because those two different things are their own independent figures. So your multiplier benefits you to some extent, but then the flux capitalator in conjunction with the multipliers makes a much bigger impact. The other multiplier that you can use adds to the bonus you get after watching an advert. You can see how the bonus that I'm getting after I watch an advert is 20 times, where it starts off at 2 times. So it's worth watching awful adverts like these, because it really makes a massive impact, especially near the end of the game. The other thing that you want to be aware of is how the game sort of tricks you into clicking to buy upgrades. If you look more closely at these upgrades, you can see that whilst many of them give you a 3 or 5 times profits boost, these ones are just giving you 10 extra. And at this stage in the game, you might already have thousands of them. These upgrades are pretty much worthless. These give you a three times boost in one area, but just below them there's a very similarly priced angel boost that multiplies the entire game by 19. And the temptation is to just buy them in order when you've got enough angels. But if you just go a little further down the list, you can see the forever and ever upgrade. It will take you way longer to get to it if you buy all these other ones first. So there you go, that's the end of the video, and I hope that helps you complete the game Adventure Capitalist without giving anybody any money at all. Because let's face it, that's what capitalism is all about. All the best, thanks for watching, bye!